What's going on everybody? Back with some more NBA Live 16 Rising Star jumping into Season 2 with the Sacramento Kings. So in the offseason, I didn't get any trade offers. Um, I wasn't planning on moving, so obviously I have one more year left on this contract after that. We're getting into free agency. We're going to see what we could do with that. But for now, we got to focus on the task at hand. We're going to try to give ourselves a championship this year. You see my new form. I'm rocking a new shooting form. If you guys went and checked out that last video where I said I'm getting fresh for season two, you can check that out. You can see the changes I made. Throw on some tattoos, some sleeves, some new shoes. We're getting ready for this new season, man. We're going to come out and play. I'm not going to mess around this season. I want that MVP. We want that championship. The Sacramento Kings won that championship. And I'm coming through throwing alley-oops to DeMarcus Cousins. So a few things are going to change this season. Just to make it a little bit more easy to follow. We're only going to play 10 regular season games. And then we're going to jump into the playoffs. That way this just goes a little bit faster. So you guys aren't waiting and waiting to get to the playoffs. Uh, so 10 regular season games. I'm going to pick them out throughout the schedule. And we'll see what happens with that. That way we can jump into the playoffs much faster. It doesn't take us three or four months. If anything, it'll take us a month at best. DeMarcus Cousins. Getting the nice feed from me. Looking like Steve Nash out there, which I changed my free throw style. Steve Nash, you guys are going to see that later on in the video. But we got a 14-point lead. I am finding my open shooters. Omir Caspi knocking down a three-pointer right there. The Minnesota Timberwolves have no idea what hit him. We came out strong. I'm throwing down these layups. Get it into the paint with no issue. And this game, I don't know what was going on, but I couldn't stop dunking the ball. You guys are going to see later on in the video. I was throwing down left and right. Getting my own offensive rebound, going up with that one. I am having myself quite a good first half. You see another dunk right there. That one's on Kevin Garnett. Honestly, he should have just retired, so he didn't have to go through that one. Uh, but it is what it is. 40 to 27, Bellinelli with the open three-pointer. And jumping into the third quarter, we got ourselves a decent 13-point lead. So we are in control for this whole game. I'm fading away from the three-pointer, knocking down the jump shot right there. I changed my form to Carmelo Anthony's and honestly, it's so much easier shooting with it. It's kind of a faster release than the old one that I was using, which was Andre Iguodala. So now I'm able to shoot much quicker, knocking down these three-pointers and transition and knocking down one with a shot clock winding down. I'm telling you, man, this game is just working out for me. First game of the season, you got to come out strong, make a statement. DeMarcus Cousins finds me cutting to the rim. Some beautiful Spurs ball movement right there. 61-52. to 52. Like I was saying, we're in control of this game. But that does not mean the Timberwolves were not killing it on the other end. They came back on offense and they made it a game. Later on in this quarter, you're going to see that they made this a game. It's 8 points right now. Making it 6 points with 5 minutes to go. Obviously, we need to come back. Throwing up an early release. 5% chance, but obviously that was more than enough. Still dunking on these dudes. I don't know what's going on. I, I still have the same dunk rating that I had last season, but it's, it's just not stopping me. Throwing down two hands, throwing down one hands, getting these and ones. So it's beautiful right now. We're playing some beautiful basketball. We got a six-point lead. Um, I get a nice entry, entry pass right here, throwing down another two-handed dunk to give us an eight-point lead. Obviously, though, the Timberwolves keeping it close, playing some good defense right there, getting the block, then running on the fast break. This is the play of the game the spin move crossover the dunk inside dude that was ridiculous take a look at that one more time that crossover that spin move is beautiful my teammates are looking on on the bench i get into the lane able to take off that is probably going to be the play of the year and it's only game one but once again timberwolves keeping it close it's a six point game to come back once again get another layup it's a four point game with less than a minute to go once again, we hit some free throws. So now it's a six-point game. Once again, 22 seconds to go in the fourth quarter. So they're going to have to work kind of quickly here. Uh, 41 has the ball. He's their rookie. I don't know a lot of these game, a lot of these guys' names because there are a lot of new rookies, obviously, since it's a new season. And this guy knocks down the three-pointer. So that rookie's playing really well. 78 to 75. We get fouled one more time. So I'm going to go to the line. You guys are going to get a look at the new free throw style right here. So it's a three-point game. I got 42 points i missed that free throw obviously we really needed that one but the second one's gonna drop in 43 on the day 7.3 seconds to go and they get another three pointer so right now it's a one point game of 4.9 seconds to go we really need another 
uh, clutch free throws from me right here. So I'm going to the line once again with only 3.7 seconds to go. Now remember, the Minnesota Timberwolves have no timeouts. So whether or not I miss these two, make these two, it doesn't matter. They're going to have to throw a full court shot up. Whatever happens, it's going to be a miracle. So, oh, I end up missing the second one. And they get an opportunity. They're going to throw a half court shot. Hits the front of the rim. That was a lot closer than I thought it would be. But we end up getting the first win of the season. Starting out 1-0 on the season. Thank you guys for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, go ahead and hit that like button if you haven't already.